YouTube drama is extremely cringe, and while the drama I'm about to bring up is around two weeks old, I think it's a great example of how dumb it can actually be. But let me give you a quick summary of what actually happened. Basically, the YouTuber Kavos makes around seven videos on KSI. I don't really know much about the actual situation, but that's not completely irrelevant, but for the most part, I'm not gonna cover it. But then the YouTuber Jideon tweets this somewhat, probably mostly joking tweet towards Kavos. Then Kavos responds with his own joke, and that leads to this absurd back and forth between these two until eventually we get to this Twitter debate. I'll break it all down for you, but here's the first clip. Okay, now, what, what, what did I say that triggered you? Did I not make a joke that triggered all of this? Man, you can't, you made a joke and then I responded with a joke. Like, uh, why are you making how did, fun? How did you, re so you responded with, are you making fun of- yeah. do you think I'm actually serious? Working? That's a joke? Do you think I'm upset about that tweet? I'm making a joke back. No, bro, you're not, I'm not saying you're making a joke, but you're milking it. That wasn't a joke. I'm milking you're, you're it by responding like, to you. Like, like you, how you, how you're gonna so say- So I'm, mil I'm milking oh, it by responding to you. I'm milking me? it by oh, responding oh, to you. Oh, you're, you're, right, you're, good, good one, good one. You're, you're threatening me. Man, you do. The person who started this was Jideon, but he brings up the point that Kavos was so upset about the content he made, but maybe it's just me, but I think it's pretty obvious that that was a joke. Then he also said he was milking it by responding once. It just feels like a real stretch and Jideon just seems upset about it for really no big reason. My point, here, I'll tell you my point right now. You stole every single CoffeeZilla video to make money. Yeah, that is my point. No. You added nothing. What no. commentary did you add to CoffeeZilla Man, videos? Coffee, CoffeeZilla could come in this space right now and would disagree with you. Okay, well, what would he disagree with me on? Me and CoffeeZilla have been talking throughout the whole thing. Me, I covered his videos oh. as well, but also I talked okay. about other things Logan Paul did. Liquid Marketplace, for example. CoffeeZilla and me were talking about that. He even came to me and goes, you made a great point about Liquid Marketplace. No one's talking about that right now. He told me, me and him have talked afterwards. He actually thanked me for covering it because people like me and other commentary channels helped get that lawsuit off his back. Oh, okay. So it's people he like you. He included me in the end of so, his video. So he it's, included it's me you. at the end. If, if, I was Carlos, in it. If Carlos didn't make his videos, CoffeeZilla would have got sued. It Gideon, if he just ignores most of Kavos' points and puts words into his mouth at this point in the video. It just feels like he wasn't even really listening to the entire thing he was saying. So I want to know, Gideon, what do you mean by come to South West London? Or South London, what do you mean by that? Uh, isn't South London a rough area? I live in South London. Oh, shit, you do? <laughs> Go out for a walk then. <laughs> Bro, I grew up here my whole life. Okay, 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 okay. Hop up, hop up the, uh, the Twitter room and just go for a walk. What are you on about? I literally live here. I go, I... Okay, that's good. Okay, then, like I say, Yo, go Gideon. for a walk. This tweet also had me a bit confused, and Kavos brings it up too. It does feel like a cringe threat. Though, to be fair to Gideon, maybe he just means that... Oh, you couldn't even go to the rough parts of London. But even then, that's still pretty cringe. You be down to box? <laughs> well, I'd be down to... Fuck no. Why? Because I'm not going to give you no money. I don't need... Well, you get money too. You're not just giving me money. Nigga, I, 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 I absolutely gain nothing from you. You I, really I, think I, so? I, All right. Well. I, I, Kavos brings up the boxing thing, which in my personal opinion, just feels a bit dumb overall and kind of irrelevant to what was happening. I'm going to skip most of the boxing parts because it takes too much time to just and analyze all that dumb stuff that was going on, but here's the basic summary of what the boxing stuff was. They kept going back and forth, Jadeon just kept saying, I don't want you to make any money off the boxing thing. Kavos was saying, well, why can't I make money when all these other YouTubers are making money? It just feels not worth it for the most part and also out of place. So I'm just not gonna cover most of it. My audience, and they will know what you're saying is wrong. Kavos, wouldn't you agree that in some cases it's true? There, some videos are lazy. Other videos, you work your ass. I would off. say there's some videos where, like, I will react to, like, or not even react. I would talk about, uh, like, news articles, like the Andrew Tate stuff. That stuff was like easy to make, and that's fine. And, and Not... your Logan Paul videos were easy to make. No, they weren't. And no, they weren't. No that's such a lie. At this point, I feel like Kavos has a hard time admitting that his videos are pretty easy to replicate. To be more specific, the hardest part is probably just lost of time during his day. No hate, but if that's your job, that's not too hard, I would say. I'm sure there are some exceptions in the videos you make, but for the most part, it doesn't seem extremely hard. I wouldn't call it super lazy content, but at the same time, I wouldn't really call it really hard content either. Be honest, why did you make your video eight minutes and two seconds? Because it's, better, it for, it's better for the algorithm, eight minute content. Uh -huh. 
Is it better for the algorithm or is it better for your podcast? No, it's better for the algorithm. If you know, oh, man, okay. your it's YouTube both, will know. But it's them. just both. Just say both because that's the truth. It, it's every YouTuber. That, that It's both. It's yeah, yeah, but it's better for the algorithm. The main thing is being better for the algorithm. Like that content about... The part that's brought up here is that Kavos always makes sure to hit that eight minute mark. He tries to argue that it's mostly about the YouTube algorithm, which honestly I can partially believe, but I think Keem actually does somewhat make of a relevant point here that it's probably both because I don't think it's that wrong to admit that you do want money. You know, you gotta pay your bills. I, I want money. I want money. Give me money. Mr. Beast, give me money. Anyways, maybe he was actually being serious about this whole YouTube algorithm thing. But overall, it seems a bit sketchy. And don't be fucking biased the whole time. Biased? Just Man, I give my opinion on shit. things. I'm not a journalist. I'm not staying down the middle. The whole point of my channel is to give my opinion. I'm not staying down the middle. I, I've never seen Gideon says here, don't be biased in your videos, but for the most part, that seems like a really dumb point. I even learned this back in school in a lot of my old classes. They would be like, bias is basically in everything. All the news stations you watch, even if they try to prevent it, for the most part, there's going to be some sort of bias there. Even Kavos admits that he is not trying to be neutral. So I think that point is really dumb on Gideon's part. Re-uploading people's content. Oh, you, you, that's the difference. I'm not making reaction channel videos. I'm I can see it right now. I can I'm literally see you doing it. It's different. I'm literally streaming, so I'm entertaining my chat, and then we just repurpose the content. I'm not, okay, guys, today we're going to be reacted to. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just reclipping what I'm You're watching. reacting and re-uploading other people's actual, like, real content and reacting to it. That's more lazy than my videos, and that's a fact. Okay, so when Hassan and Nabi made a video talking shit about me, and I reacted to his reaction, giving my point of view. That's well, that's one me, example. I got to defend Gideon, right? Because Gideon might have a channel where he's doing lazy content, but he's also doing a lot of other stuff. Yeah, but right? you can't have a problem with someone making money doing quote unquote lazy content when you're doing the same. Yeah, but, but that's but this is your but Let's go back to the point of Gideon's reaction channel. I would say it's a bit of a stretch to say that pausing a video then saying a few words is repurposing content in a meaningful way. Also, if you watch the whole thing, Gideon does seem like he dislikes this quote unquote lazy content, but he has a channel for it. Even though you could potentially make the argument, well, he has a main channel where he works super hard on and I won't deny that, but it feels a bit disingenuous to say, I hate lazy content, but participate in it. Even if it's only somewhat, it just feels like an excuse if you're gonna say, well, I have a other channel that I work hard on, so I can do lazy content. That's the justification. No, you are still doing lazy content. You're even lazier than the people you're criticizing right now, so what's the point of bringing that up? It just feels irrelevant. I'm not, I'm not complaining about reaction channels. What I'm complaining yes, about are. is a you fucking said he was a reaction channel, channel you said that has word to put in word. fucking work. And this nigga does not put in work. I'm He's so a glad you said that word, word channel. You cannot deny that. This nigga is not a commentary channel. You can I'm talk so over everybody. It doesn't mean Yeah, but right. you guys, you guys are actually talking over him. He was reacting and you guys talked over him. Dude, he's just screaming that he never said reaction channel when he called Kavos a reaction channel. He literally did that. We were all here for And then Gideon says here that he doesn't really have a problem with reaction channels, but so many times does he call Kavos one. I just feel like, okay, you have no problem, but you're calling this guy a reaction channel? Your point just seems kind of contradictory. It just keeps going back and forth. And I just don't really understand what he's really trying to get at for your own gain though like this is a real thing like for one specific instance right if i go to your channel darman's career is over exposed his whole career is over why are you saying darman's like bro if we because actually look he... at that darman situation his career was never even near over because of that like you're taking yeah, yeah, a, that's my fine. thing and you're it's completely a, a you're basically just lying about it you're but the thing about it is your, your videos match your titles you literally said his career is over. Yes, they, yes, they are. His career is over. Darman's career is yeah. over. He's hey, guys. Darman's career is over. It's all over, guys. He's currently getting cancelled. And I'm not going to lie. It's not looking good for him. That's exactly what you sound like, bro. Uh, for this next point, and I'm going to be honest, this is going to basically be my final point because covering any more of this is literally going to damage my brain cells. But clickbait, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cringe. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Every YouTuber really does it for the most part. And sure, maybe Kavos does it a little more extreme based off what we hear in this little debate part. But honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. One last little thing before I end this all. I just want to bring this up. Keemstar just feels like he's just trying to start something and make this drama bigger 
than what it actually is. I don't think it's a good idea to have him as a mediator for anything. Just a little thing, that's it, but I just feel like that had to be said. In conclusion, this entire scenario was just not worth it at all. But if I had to say who was worse in this scenario, it had to be Gideon. His arguments just kept going back and forth. He just felt so emotional during the entire thing. It did not really feel like a debate with him there. Just kept joking around. If he really cared about this, I feel like at least put some effort into making actually somewhat decent arguments. Even if they're kind of crap, at least put effort into them. It felt like he kept changing his mind during the conversation just to fit the narrative that he wanted to push out. And when it comes to Kavos, just why get involved in the first place? I understand if you look at the tweets he made earlier, he just wanted nothing to do with it, but eventually it got to him. So maybe it was the peer pressure, but honestly, I just would have stood my ground and ignored it. But the other thing, why even bring up the boxing thing? You know, he said like, oh, you threatened me, blah, blah, blah. I just don't think. I just feel like it came out of a left field. There was just no point in bringing it up in the first place. And honestly, just come up with something more original. YouTube boxing, everyone does it at this point. I don't know, do YouTube golfing, mini golfing, I don't know. But either way, that's all I got. You know, I'm pretty cringe myself and I'm definitely gonna make tons of cringe content if I'm in the mood for it. And I'm okay with that. But I feel like in this case, they were just taking it way too seriously over something that really doesn't matter. Matter. But hey, that's YouTubers for you. Well, that's it. Don't forget to drink water, my friends. I'm out.